Okay, close your eyes and watch your breath. Give the mind a place to settle down, because it runs, runs, runs all the day, and it needs to rest, both so that it has some strength and also so that it can see things clearly. You look at your mind, and if you're running around all the time, you can't see your own mind clearly. It's like running around the house and passing a mirror every now and then. You're going to blur a little big blip of a blur, and then you run past it, and then you're past again, another little blip. You don't see things continually. So you've got to get the mind to settle down right here. Make it at home right here. Breathe in a way that feels good coming in, feels good going out. Energizing if the body is tired, relaxing if the body is tense. So that it feels right to be right here. It feels natural to be right here. We're so used to running that we think that that's the mind's normal state. But the mind at normalcy actually is the mind in the present moment. And then it can see itself. Greed comes up, you see the greed. Good things come up in the mind, and you can see the good things too. And you're in a better position to decide what you should act on. Otherwise, something comes whispering in your ear, and you just go with it without stopping to think. It's just, who's, whisp who's doing the whispering? But if you can see clearly, okay, this is greed whispering, I don't have to follow it. This is compassion whispering, this is goodwill whispering, okay, that's something that can be listened to. You can sort things out a lot more clearly this way, because you're right here. You can see the beginning of a thought, even before the beginning of a thought, you begin to see the stirring of something. You can get a sense of where it's going. And if it's going in a bad place, you can nip it in the bud. If it's going into a good place, you can encourage it. Because it's not like the Buddha is telling us not to think at all. Just get a little bit more systematic and a little bit more, bring a little bit more light to our thinking. So we actually get the most use out of it. You think about being generous, you think about it being virtuous, you think about observing, meditating. Okay, those are good thoughts to have. Those are the kinds of thoughts you encourage. The kinds of thoughts that want to just say something because you're angry or do something because you're feeling a bad, bad mood. Okay, those are the thoughts you have to hold in check. As the Buddha said, you hold them in check with mindfulness and then you cut through them with discernment. But to see them at all, you have to get the mind really still. So try to make this your default mode as you go through the day. This is where the mind tends to come back to, being here, clear in the present moment. And you get a lot more use out of the good things that you have as having a human mind. We've worked so hard to get this human mind. It'd be a shame to waste it. So. Learn how to sort through the thoughts that it creates and encourage the good ones. And you find that that's where the source of real happiness is.